This upcoming week presents the perfect time to level up your alts in preparation for patch 10.1.5, Fractures in Time. Several enticing factors make it an ideal moment to level up. Firstly, the Winds of Sanctuary buff is active, generously boosting all experience gains by 50%. Additionally, the vibrant Midsummer Fire Festival will be ongoing until July 5th, offering a delightful 10% experience bonus which can be gained by dancing at a ribbon pole near any bonfire. But wait, there's more! The Dark Moon Fair commences Sunday, July 2nd, where a ride on the carousel grants an extra 10% experience buff. The Dark Moon Fair can be portaled to, outside of Goldshire for the Alliance, and outside of Thunderbluff for the Horde. And if that weren't enough, brace yourself for the arrival of Time Walking Draenor on July 4th. Time Walking events are always a fantastic opportunity for leveling, as completing the Time Walking Dungeons rewards a substantial amount of experience. However, it's crucial to note that both level 60 and an item level of 180 are necessary to queue for time walking dungeons. It's unlikely you'll meet the eye level requirement right at level 60 unless you played the character in Shadowlands. I'm personally confused on why there is a eye level requirement as gear scales in the dungeons, but we can only hope for future changes in this regard. So to sum it up, we have four incredible experience bonuses coinciding with the imminent release of patch 10.1.5. If you've been longing to level up certain characters, now is undoubtedly the perfect moment to do so. All four bonuses align on July 4th, yet any time between now and July 11th offers an excellent window for leveling. Let me know what you plan on leveling during these events, and if you enjoy this content, don't forget to leave a like and subscribe to the channel. It's free and encourages me to create more videos of this nature.